U.S. security forces brace for possible Trump arrest. Federal, state and local law enforcement agencies are reportedly discussing security preparations in the event former President Donald Trump is indicted on felony falsification charges sometime in the coming days, according to multiple media outlets citing anonymous officials. The agencies are carrying out preliminary security assessments in and around Manhattan Courthouse to prepare for a possible indictment linked to an alleged hush money scheme involving a woman who claimed to have been intimate with the ex-president, five senior officials told NBC. While the officials stressed that the discussions are precautionary given that no charges have been filed, they said preparations are being made for an indictment that could come as early as next week. Four law enforcement officials reached by the Associated Press confirmed the interagency conversations which they said involve security planning and the practicalities of a potential court appearance by Trump. The agencies discussing security preparations reportedly include the New York Police Department, the New York State Court Officers, the U.S. Secret Service, the FBI's Joint Terrorism Task Force and the Manhattan DA's office. The Secret Service will eventually determine whether Trump is handcuffed in the event he is charged, according to a source in the courts cited by Fox News. The former leader is under a grand jury investigation launched by the Manhattan District Attorney's Office over the alleged felony falsification of business records and is accused of arranging a payment of $130,000 to adult film actress Stormy Daniels through his then-lawyer Michael Cohen. Daniels claims she was paid during the 2016 presidential campaign to keep quiet about alleged sexual encounters with Trump in the past, though he denies such liaisons ever took place. Trump's attorney, Dro Takopina, said that if the ex-president is charged, he will follow the normal procedures, but has insisted on his client's innocence. There won't be a standoff at Mar a Lago with Secret Service and the Manhattan DA's office, Takopina told the Daily News. The payments were made to a lawyer, not to Stormy Daniels. The payments were made to Donald Trump's lawyer, which would be considered legal fees, he said, during an interview with MSNBC, adding that Cohen was his lawyer at the time and advised him that this was the proper way to do this, to protect himself and his family from embarrassment. It's as simple as that. That is not a crime. Cohen pleaded guilty to a federal charge related to the payment in 2018 and has since cooperated with the investigation into Trump after a public falling out with his former boss. He has provided hours of testimony before the grand jury probing Trump on the alleged felony charge appearing for a second time.